Hello and welcome. This is a high intermediate level class. And uh, as always, um, we'll have to wait a few moments until uh, some students join the class. Um, hopefully, it shouldn't be too long. And as soon as that happens, we'll begin the class. Okay, thank you for your attention.
Hello, Guy, my friend. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm well, thank you. Thanks for asking. How's everything on your side? What you been up to? You been busy? Yes, I'm a little busy this week, but now it's I'm I'm fine now. Not so busy. That's good. That's good. Um, you know, since it's close to the end of the year, does your business pick up? Do you get um, does it get very busy for your business during the end of the year, like December, you know, close to Christmas and all this? Or it doesn't affect you? Well, uh, in fact, it affects me uh, negatively. Really? Uh, negatively? Yeah. Yeah. It's because um, my company uh, makes, makes software. Software, yeah. We, uh, yeah, we, we sold software for a small business and uh, uh, so when the, the the market it's frenetic in December the owner that's co that's companies don't have time to to trial or to to buy a software Oh. But but it's okay. It, uh, it's just a little. Uh, it's not. Uh, in fact, the, the this next three months are a um, little little lower. But it's it's expected. No no. Oh, no so this is it's expected during these. Yeah. Times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's all right then. Um, yeah, because oh. you should. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, fine now. Well, you headed the wrong way, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, usually, you know, during this period, it gets, um, for some businesses, it gets really busy, you know, and some other mm -hmm. businesses, you know, it's not as busy. So, um, yeah, I hope that you won't, you won't suffer too much. Because I have a friend here um, who lives close to me, and uh, he has a clothing business. He sells, like, fashionable clothes, you know. Oh. And so he, they're supposed to pick up during Christmas, you know. So he mm -hmm. sells to, like, high school students, you know, and all that. So quite decent clothing. And um, mm -hmm. so basically... It hasn't picked up yet, you know. It's already December, first week of December, and it's mm -hmm. quiet. So he's he's worrying, you know. He has bills to pay, uh -huh. but yeah. you know, come on, guys, Christmas shopping, hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> no one's coming. So he's hoping in the next week or two we'll um, pick up, you know, and we we'll get we we'll get more customers coming in. Yeah, you know. but now now it's okay, or the sales are as lower. Yeah, it's still, it's still low. I mean, it was really bad last month in November. But mm -hmm. I think he's he's slowly seeing some um, increase in, in you know sales. Mm -hmm. uh, but he still thought it would be better because when December comes, this is like the busiest month. You know, December mm -hmm. before Christmas, before New Year, and all that. But it's just mm -hmm. been very slow for him. Yeah. So I was wondering if you had the same problem. But with you, it's different, yeah? When it comes to this um, festive season like Christmas, New Year, and all that, it's not mm -hmm. that busy for you, yeah? It's the other yeah. way around. It's negative. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, here, here in Brazil, we, we, we have a... Uh, uh, when, the, when do we pass for the next year? Mm -hmm. And... Um, Every everybody wait for the carnival, and here here now is summer, um, so in fact uh, it, the the beginning of the year is is very slow for for business because uh, is uh, we have a lot of a lot of celebration and. 
and vacations yeah. and, and all that stuff. Usually we we say our year starts before the carnival party. And, uh -huh. and when is the carnival usually? Yeah. Which month? The carnival. Yeah, when is the carnival? What uh, month is it usually in Brazil? Usually it's in February or okay. uh, or uh, in this March, initial. March, initial. March, March. Yeah, yeah. In the first week of March. I, I don't know exactly it because it's a, it's a Catholic, Catholic celebration, in fact. So oh, I see. Okay. Is is not not is the same the same date in all years, and some years uh, we have a, a different date. I, I don't know why, but mm -hmm. because it, it's a Catholic as religion, mm -hmm. and um, I'm not so religion. So <laughs> you're not so religious. You're not so religious. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. I see. So usually after that, that's when everything picks up again, when people have stopped going for vacations and stopped partying. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that day, okay, time to make yeah. money or whatever, you know, do business. Yeah. Mm, okay, I see. All right, yeah, I think every region, every culture has different ways of, um, you know, making business or having business. So uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting, you know. And I think yeah. there's a relationship when it comes to, for example, let's say in, the, in Far East Asia, like China, Japan, you know, they mm -hmm. are all related to one another because they do a lot of business there, import, export, whatever. And then mm -hmm. America also influences South America, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, and so on. And Europe is, is another, yeah. another region as well, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. Here is very different. Uh, for example, for for China, mm -hmm. China, I I have have heard um, they don't don't have a weekend like Saturday or Sund Sunday, and uh, uh, the banks work all all, all seven days. days. Yes, all wow. days, wow. all seven days, because. Uh, have a lot of people and they can't stop any any operations mm -hmm. and here you know here we have a lot of um, holidays uh, it's because Brazil is uh, um, Catholic a Catholic country yes. and and when we we have a, a, we have a lot of uh, celebrations for the saints. So, uh, so you yeah. have a lot of public holidays then, yeah. 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 But it's okay. <laughs> Here is a it's great place. A great yeah. place. It, it's good because you can have time off. You're not always working. You know. I mean, I wouldn't yeah. want to be working in China. Imagine there's hardly yeah. any days off. Yeah. You know. But I yeah. think what they do there, maybe they might um, take turns. So if there's, they mm -hmm. take a few days off or a day off, and then somebody else works instead of you. And mm -hmm. you know that's I think what they do. But yeah. the business is always open. I think they're constantly yeah. you know, the business is always running, and somebody's yeah. there and they take shifts. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Guy, I think we'll start the class. I don't know if anyone else will join. Um, so we have two viewers in the lobby. So we'll begin. Okay, this is a high intermediate level, and the interest is sports and hobbies. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll cover some grammar skill here, which is do versus make. Mm. I think you you wanted to do that once before. Yeah. I remember. Yes, yeah. so you said that it's you're in trouble. Yeah, trouble yeah, with you versus me. Because right? it's very difficult for, uh, I believe, for all Brazilians because this, the two words mean the same in, in Portuguese. I see. 
Okay, now, okay, let's start. Um, let's start with this. So tell me, what, what, can, what kind of things do you do at home? Like house chores. You know what house chores are? No. House chores, like, you know, uh, maybe cleaning duties. around the house. Duties, yeah. House chores, what do you do? Or does your, your partner do most of it because you're outside in the business? So if mm -hmm. you if you're at home, what do you do as in house chores? Do you wash the dishes? Do you yeah you know, yeah I wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. I'm feed my dogs. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, <laughs> I I don't do more you. many things, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah uh, uh, I. I pay the bills. Okay. That's a big stuff, right? Yeah, uh, this is the most important <laughs> bit. <laughs> and some sometimes I do the dishes, and Dude, I you I use yeah. Yes, I usually feed feed the dogs, and walk the dogs, and clean uh, the backyard, backyard, right, right. The car, wash the car, I mean, uh, or vacuum, yeah. vacuum cleaning. You, uh, no, clean vacu the no, no, my my backyard. Oh, your backyard. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh -huh. okay, um, so you cut the grass or you mow the lawn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Good. Okay. So look, let's let's go through some. Uh, hopefully you'll understand. So I'm going to screen share the grammar, and mm -hmm. um, so let's let's cover some of these do's and makes. And what's the main difference? So let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. So firstly, you can use do in the following situations. When talking about work, jobs, or tasks that do not produce any physical object. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you let's say at work or any jobs or tasks that don't produce any physical object, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. for example, um, has she done her homework? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no physical object here. It's not like you've created something. Yeah, so mm -hmm. has she done her homework? Mm -hmm. Hello, Muhammad. Salam alaikum. Hello, how are you? Alaikum salam. Nice okay. to see you. Welcome. I see you again. We've just just started the, the grammar. We're talking about do versus make. Yeah. Okay, there's some interference. Somebody is calling. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> someone's, someone's phone is ringing. Wow. Yeah, okay. Have you ever done do versus make, um, Hamid? Okay, has she done her homework? Uh, no, do doing, you? yes, uh, doing, I do, yes, I know. Yeah, the difference like, between do and make. You know, sometimes we say, uh, can you do the dishes? Yeah. Or can you, you know, make... Um, make food like this. One. Make dinner, yes, make dinner. Uh, yeah? make dinner. So now we're going to focus on the difference and when to use them. So... Okay. When talking about work, jobs, or tasks that do not produce any physical object, doesn't produce a physical object, then we can use um, do. Okay? So, has she done her homework? Okay. Have, 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 well, we have guests visiting tonight, so we should start doing the housework now. You're going to do the housework, yeah? You're not going to make the housework. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like to do that job. You don't like to do that job. So the object, it doesn't produce a physical object, yeah? When you say do, done, uh, doing, you know, does, mm -hmm. there's no physical object produced. Now, mm -hmm. when referring to activities in general, you know, without being specific, it's also another case. So in these cases, we normally use words like uh, thing, something, nothing, anything, everything. 
-hmm. So, for example, don't take forever. Mom has things to do. So general, you know, she has things to do. Mm -hmm. Or another example would be... I think I'll... I think I'll... I'll yeah, good. If you can read, that's good. Okay, so then, don't just stand there. Do something. It's general, yeah? Without being specific. Is there anything I can do to help? Again, anything. Do. You don't want to say, is there anything I can make to help? Or make something? No. Okay, so you, uh, I think you understand this already. Yes, yeah. Muhammad? Okay, uh, Ellen, if you have, uh, maybe it's important call, you can answer. Maybe it's important. Oh, it's not mine. I think it was uh, Guy's. Mm -hmm. It wasn't mine. Okay, yeah. okay. That's no problem. So then, okay, let's have a look. When replacing a verb, when the meaning is clear or obvious. So when replacing a verb, when the meaning is clear or obvious. So this is more common in informal spoken English. So you might say, do I need to do my hair? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Instead yeah, of brush? Sure. Yeah. yeah, instead of brush or comb, um, ideally you would say, do I need to brush my hair? Or do I need to comb my hair? Yeah, so you can replace this verb and say do instead of brush or comb. Mm -hmm. Then, have you done the dishes yet? Done replaces washed. So instead of saying, have you washed the dishes yet? You can say, have you done the dishes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then again, I'll do the kitchen if you do the lawns. The lawns as in the grass. So... I'll do the kitchen or I'll clean the kitchen if you mow, mow means cut, the lawns or if you do the lawns. Okay, so this is when... What's uh, the, the lawns, sorry? What's the lawns? Lawns is grass. You know grass? Oh, grass, yes, yes. Yes. So you say, uh, I need to mow the lawn. I have to mm. cut the grass. Mm. Okay, like, like trim. Trim yeah, the, trim the grass. That's right, yeah. Oh. And you know the machine is called a lawn mower. Did you know how did you know did you hear this before? Lawn yeah. mower. Lawn mower, this is uh, the machine that cuts cuts the grass. Okay. It's called lawn mower. Lawn mower. Lawn mower. Yeah. I misspelled yeah. that. Learn more. More. Yeah, this is how you spell it. The second is a correct one. I misspelled the first one. So then, secondly, here we move on to make. Now, let's see the difference. So in the following situations, we use make. When producing, constructing, creating, or building something new. So it's also used to indicate the origin of a product or the materials that are used to make something. So this is more um, direct. So you might say, her earrings are made of gold. Yeah, they're made of gold. The truck is made of steel. Wine is made from grapes. This purse was made in Italy. So when you talk about origin of something or um, you know the material which is which it's made from, then we use made. Okay. Now, when producing an action or reaction, the onions made my eyes water. You know when you cut onions and you start crying. Yeah. So the onions made my eyes water. Mm -hmm. Or she makes me happy, or she makes him happy. Um, it's not her fault. Her brother made Sarah do it. Okay, her brother made Sarah do it. So when you're producing an action or reaction, then another way 
is when it's followed by certain nouns about plans and decisions. Plans and decisions. So, I'll make the arrangements. Not I'll do the arrangements. I'll make the arrangements. He needs to make a decision. Or he needs to make up his mind. That's another one, but in this case, he needs to make a decision, not do a decision. Okay, so make a decision. So plans. And we decisions. we always do mistake in this, you know. Uh, yeah, it, it's very common. Yeah. It's okay, you know. With, yeah, with, make or with, sometimes yeah. you do and for yeah, in place of Guy, make and so. Guy told me once before in another class. This is one of the problems that he has between um, you know do versus make, and it's common with with English learners, you know. Yeah. So hopefully this will clarify things now. So if you're not sure about something, pause me. Tell me, hold on, I don't understand this. Can you repeat or okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So then moving on, when it's followed by nouns about speaking and certain nouns. So comment, noise, speech. I'll make a comment. Not I'll do a comment, I'll make a comment. They'll make a noise. Obama made a speech. Not did a speech. Yeah, made mm -hmm. a speech. So when, you know, when it's followed by nouns about speaking or certain sounds and noises, we use make as well. Then we have when it's followed by nouns related to food, drinks, and meals. Like we said earlier. Can you make dinner tonight? Yeah. Or will she make a cake? She made a cup of tea. I made dinner. Okay, so it, it's you probably might think, okay, I can also say I did dinner tonight. But actually you can't. It's made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made dinner. Because nouns related to food drinks, meals, we say make dinner, make a cake, you know, make me a cup of coffee, please, you know. Now, yeah, yeah, anything it's, it's uh, sorry, anything yes. it's uh, foreign by nouns, either food, drinks, or, or um, meals, uh, uh, meals, or, or the, the briefest one, which is uh, Yes, talking. sounds, yeah. sounds or speaking. Sounds, yeah, or sounds. Make a comment, make, make noise. Or a comment, yes, yeah. yes. So, for example, someone's in the library, you're in the library, you're in the library, it's so quiet, and some, you know, students come in and they're making noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. they're making yeah. noise. They're being very loud. You're not going to say, stop doing that noise. No, stop making noise. Okay. Okay. Right. And also, <clears throat> Uh, certain nouns about plans and decisions. So you make arrangements or make a decision. Yeah. Make an appointment. Make an appointment with a doctor. You know. Also. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then before we had reaction or action. So made my this onion made my eyes water. Oh, uh, this story. Of this story is so hot, you know, touching, it makes me cry, you know, mm -hmm. and so on. It's not her fault. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the very, at the very beginning, it says when something is made out of something, so the origin or the material, uh, you know, these earrings yeah. are so beautiful. What, what are they made from made or what are they made yes. of? Gold. They're made of gold. Okay, and so on. So the last bit, which was, yeah, you can combine them. So you can have do and make together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you can combine them when going from specific to general, or the other way around, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So from specific to general. So for example, student A might say, you have to make a cake for Simon. Yeah, so this is specific. You have to make a cake. So then he replies, I'll do it later. Mm -hmm. So here you can't say, I'll do it later. 
-hmm. Because you're going from specific to general. This is general. Specific to general, yes. Or the other way around. Uh, Bill made a nasty comment. Well, actually, it's the same way around. So Bill made a nasty comment. Yeah, so this is specific. What did he do? He made a nasty comment. But he did it because he was angry. He did it. Not made it. Mm -hmm. It's more proper to say did it. He did it because he was angry. So this is general now. He did it. Okay, so this is the other option when you can mix them up. Okay, are you guys happy? Yeah, but with the last one, uh, mm -hmm. it's a little bit, little bit. With the specific to general, we know, mm -hmm. we know right? So, so uh, why here we said, okay, but he did it because he was angry. Is this general, you call it general? Why you call yeah. it general? It's, it's general because you're not giving me, uh, you're not talking about details. You're not being specific. Oh, here not begin, specific things. Yeah, because here it's saying, why is it so specific here at the beginning? Because you're saying nasty comments. Bill made a nasty comment. But he did and then later you're being general. He did it because he was angry. Now, if you want to be uh, specific here again, you would have to say, but he made the comment, or he made the nasty comment, because he was angry. But uh, nothing in that, it's correct. Also. But you shouldn't use it again, because it sounds repetitive, like you're repeating it. I see. So okay. this is why you switch it to general, and then you can use did. Okay. Or, or, or whatever tense it is, does, done. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem. G, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I I can I can remember an uh, example, um, uh, but it seems fine to me. I don't know yeah. if <laughs> I will make some mistake, but yeah, it it has to you know remember uh, this. Uh, now. Okay, I I you yeah. make I did I. I will do some mistake or I will make some mistake? Make. Make, right. I'll make a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, you might say, oh, you know, I don't want to speak a lot because I'm afraid I will make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because it's a reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't want to speak because you might make a mistake. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because because of the speaking, you might make a mistake. Mm -hmm. okay. And here, you know, it says the onions made my eyes water. So because you know he was cutting the onions, mm -hmm. they made his eyes water. It's a reaction. The onions mm -hmm. made my eyes water. Mm -hmm. So now let me go back to the top where we talk about do. Um, yeah, so when, when, when thinking about do, remember that you're talking about work <coughs> or jobs or tasks or duties that mm -hmm. don't, don't produce any physical object. Mm -hmm. So done her homework, she done her homework. Is there anything produced after that? No, there's no physical object that came after that, you know? Um, we should start doing the housework now. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan, what do you mean by physical object? We know object, but physical. What, 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 what that means? Physical, you know when, um, for example... Like you, you do you, something, you know? Yeah, homework, something or? physical that you can maybe see, you can... Uh, Great. Uh, you can touch something that was created. For example, you were cutting the onion and it made your eyes water. So there's a yeah. physical yeah, thing yes. that happens. Your tears are physical, it. right? Okay. Or gold earrings, they're made of, of gold. Earrings are made of okay. gold. That, that's physical. Physical object. Yeah, that's oh, why okay. we use make. 
But when it's not physical, yeah, then we use do. So do a homework. Uh, I would like to do that job. Yeah, job. It's it's something that we do. You don't make a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then um, yes. and, and general things when we talk about thing, something, anything, um, you know, nothing. Then we use do as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, look, she's struggling. Do something. Yeah. Do something. Help mm -hmm. her. And um, and the other thing is when you're replacing another verb, so uh, maybe um, you know your wife is asking you, "Did you uh, wash the dishes?" She can say, "Did you do the dishes?" Mm -hmm. Because she's replacing that verb, wash, with do. Mm -hmm. Same with here. We have, mm -hmm. uh, "I'll do the kitchen." Or I'll clean the kitchen. Yeah. So a verb, clean, is being replaced by do. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and that's it pretty much. So if you if you can remember these, when it comes to do, then you know that make, as we covered earlier, is when producing, constructing, creating, or building something new. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be a phys physical object. Something's going to happen. It's going to be created or a reaction will happen and so on. Okay, okay guys. All right, should we do the article? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do a bit of questions after and we can practice. Uh -huh. Okay, so here is the article in the link, uh, the link in the chat. Uh -huh. So we're talking about the origin and history of chess. So let's see what they say. Okay, the origin of chess shrouded in the mists of history depends very much on one's own perspective. We cannot, unfortunately, trace the history of chess with a bold black line that leads from the game as we know it today to a point in the past where we can unambiguously say, aha, this is where it began. Many ancient cultures, including the Greeks, Chinese, Indians, Persians, and Arabs, have staked their claims on the game's antecedents, if not to the game itself. It is the purpose of this article to bring order out of the historical clutter surrounding the origin of chess and to give you, the interested reader, a clear idea of its line of development. All right, so as already in, uh, intimated, uh, it is no surprise that chess did not spring fully loaded with its pieces, boards, and rules from its point of origin to what we have today without our mandarin style of evolutionary development. Recent scholarship of the history of chess would indicate that the Chinese emperor Wu Ti. Uh, from uh, 560 to 578, developed a game of uh, divination called Xiang Qi, which is the ancient Chinese word for chess. The chessmen and their moves were patterned uh, after the moon, planets, constellations, and the sun. This divinatory game may well have been the common ancestor of modern-day Chinese chess still widely played, and the game that took the Western world, and indeed the entire world, by storm. However, even taking the Chinese contributions into account, most scholars, by a wide consensus, place the origin of chess, at least in, the, in its modern beginnings, in India. We shall now see why this is so. As you probably already have suspected, there is not a great deal of direct evidence for the uh, primacy of India uh, for being the country of origin of chess. There is, however, a strong circumstantial uh, case to be made. 
Thoughtful observers on the history of chess place its modern origins in northern India in about the 5th or 6th centuries AD. Following the Arabic conquest of Persia in the 7th century AD, several of the leading Muslim scholars found it there and commented that it had made its way to Persia from India. Indeed, the Persians themselves seem to support this view. In the um, Chatrang Namak, a series of Persian stories written in the early 7th century, chess is depicted as having arrived in Persia by way of India. But how did Indian chess make its way to Persia? Probably through the normal activities of trade and other forms of cultural contact. By the time that by the time that the game arrived in Persia, it showed uh, sorry, it should be stated that there were variations of it, such as the four-way game called Chaturanga, not just one type. A certain type of it was being played on a 64 square board with two players. If one were to take the linguistic evidence into consideration, then consider the following. Arabic for chess is Shatranj. Is that correct, Muhammad? Yeah. Shatranj? Yeah, shatranj. shatranj, yes. Shatranj, okay. Which, is turn, uh, which in turn comes from the Persian Chatran, which, is, uh, which in turn comes from the Indian Sanskrit uh, Chaturanga. Ah, a clear line leading back to India. Can we now say definitely where chess originated? No, but currently available evidence does seem to indicate northern India in the 5th and 6th centuries AD. So, for the moment, the origin and history of chess must remain inconclusive, as are so many things in human affairs. Maybe someday, with new discoveries, we shall know for certain. So, did you know any of this about chess? No, this is the first time. But I think it's Indian. I yeah, think it's yeah. Indian. They're saying because, it's uh, we yeah. have this, uh, the Shatranj, and they have uh, another things, they call it Kerem. And that Kerem also, it's, uh, it's uh, famous in the Arab world, but it uh, has been made in, uh, in India. In India, mm, yes. Yeah, that's what they're finding here. Northern India is where it sort of originated. Guy, what do you think about this article? Well, do you play chess? Yes, not so much, but uh, I I know I know mm -hmm. how how play. But it's interesting. It's yeah. It's, it's not very it's, yeah. yeah. It's not very popular here, mm -hmm. but I know I know how how to play. Yeah, it's popular in the in, in many other countries, you know. And I, I I was very curious to find out the, the origin, and this is mm -hmm. why I thought <clears throat> I thought it would be interesting to uh, yeah. share share it with your students. It's fine because the the chess have. Uh, a king, a queen, uh, and if uh, the chess orange, it's AD. I don't know. Um, mm. Their um, the organization will be the same in this. Than two, three thousand years ago. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very interesting, you know, because um, I know it's pretty common in the Middle East and uh, in, in Russia, I guess, and mm -hmm. sub subcontinents like India and all that. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was good to know the the origin of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Are there any questions on vocabulary, guys? Did you catch any words you didn't understand? No. 
No oh. questions. Some words that I can, can sequest. Consequence? Where is that? Uh, is it consequence? consequence? Um, where is that? It's, it's like. Is it at the beginning, the first paragraph? I, I think it was in the second. The second. Second paragraph. The one we moved because you moved maybe up or down. Oh, sorry. It was. Yeah, that one, see? AD following the Arabic. Con. 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 Yes. Con. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, conquest, it's sorry. Conquest. Following the Arabic conquest. Conquest. Ah, yeah. yes. What's that so, conquest? You know when the, following the Arabic conquest of, of Persia, when they conquered Persia, basically. You know when, when the Muslims went conquest. to Persia and they conquered, and there was a conquest, yeah. they won over Persia. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so let me ask you some questions then, uh -huh. and, and then we'll, we'll try to use, um, you know, either make or do. Uh -huh. All right. So, what sports did you do when you were a kid, or when you were at school? What sports did you do when you were a kid? Uh. I was playing football, you know. I I really like it too much. Mm. It wow. was my favorite. <laughs> Good. Did you play any other sports? Did you do any other? Uh, like that uh, uh, tennis table. Oh, table tennis, ping pong, yeah. Or table oh. tennis, yeah, table tennis, and basketball sometimes. Uh huh. Okay. Gee, what about yourself? I I did um, I did volleyball, uh, basketball, not so much, but sometimes, and uh, tennis. Mm -hmm. And sports, I can't. I think is just does it. Just Maybe it. athletics. Did you do athletics like in um, in school? Was that popular? Yeah, not so much, but uh, sometimes we we did some uh, some uh, athletic sports. Mm, good. Okay. Yeah, so here you can say I did some athletics instead of I, you know, practiced. So you can replace this verb and say I did, you know, whatever sport you can say, you can say after that. Okay, so then the next question is related to chess now. So what is the usual chess board material? Now I want you to use either do or make. Uh, it's some of it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. It's usually made by uh, wood. Oh. Wood. It's not, yeah. It's made of wood. Made of wood. All right. Yeah. Mohammed, were you gonna say the same? Yeah. It's. A, it's. A, I think some of it. It's made by uh, by steel. I think. You know. They do it like very thin. Uh, beneath in layer of uh, steel. Yeah, Over that's it. correct. Yeah, yeah they're, they're making in all sorts of materials. I mean, wood, I think, would be the usual. Yeah? You know, the board, especially the board with all the yeah. fields, that's usually wooden. You can fold it nicely mm -hmm. and it's hollow. Yeah. But oh, the best, you know, the, yeah. Yeah? The, the best what it's made, I think, from wood. From wood, yeah? Yes. 
better quality. Better quality. Yeah, like real solid, solid wood, solid timber. Yeah. Like real timber, yes, definitely. Uh, okay, here's another one. What can you gain from playing chess? What can you gain from playing chess? Do you understand the, the question? Yes. Okay. Uh, you could uh, you could gain uh, how how you think you know maybe it's it's, it's make your uh, thinking better you know. Yes, good. It makes yes. makes you think better, yeah. Yeah, you you think better then. So. Mm -hmm, good. Make you more smarter. Yes. It makes you smarter, yes. <clears throat> because you know when you're playing chess, you need to remember the moves, all the possibilities. You have to memorize and remember where, you know, all the moves that, in case you move one um, one figure, it, it will yes. get eaten. So you have to remember yes. a lot of things when when you're playing this. So it definitely yeah. makes your Makes you smarter, makes you makes your memory better, and so on. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, and the more you play, the more uh, the more you gain skill. You know that one. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And and the the, the best people they play that chess. You know, it's uh, from uh, Russian. Yeah, the Russians. Yes. yes. So it makes you very skillful. Yeah, it makes you very skillful. Yes. Yes. Yeah, why do you think the the Russians are so good at at chess? Maybe they're smart. Hmm. Yeah, they're good at it. They're extremely good. Or maybe they play it when they are uh, start uh, uh, from the Very beginning. Young. You know, yes, when they are young or or when they they they've been um, teenager. I mean, yes, I like this. Excellent. Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right, guys. So we're coming close to the end. So what I'm going to do now, briefly, you know, practice a bit more, or assess you a little bit more. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll give you a, a word, okay, and or a sentence, and I want you to use or make a sentence out of this and use the correct, um, you know, either do or make. So Muhammad will start with you. Your word is um, housework. Housework. So housework. Make, a, make a make a short sentence using housework, and use either do or make. Okay. Uh, uh, my wife made the breakfast, and uh, I could not say made again. Or I do the the house make uh, the house uh, work. Housework. Excellent. Good. Yes. So you've given me two <laughs> correct yes. ones, not just one. So my wife made breakfast or made the breakfast, and I, maybe you can use the past tense as well, and I did the housework. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's yeah. right. Excellent. Or if you want to use it in a simple present, you can say, My wife makes the breakfast, mm -hmm. and I do the housework. Well done. That's good. Thank you very much, Muhammad. And Guy, here's one for you. Okay. Okay. Bed. You know the bed? bed that you bed the bed that you sleep on. Okay. I. When you wake up, you need to yes, good, good. <laughs> to, to do your bed. <laughs> no, no, no Meg. <laughs> yeah, this is complex. But, yes, but but you don't construction or anything. Exactly. Just, Are you me? Who look look listen? This will hopefully when I get when I tell you this, you will remember for the rest of your life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> did you make the bed or did the carpenter make the bed? 
You know the carpenter that that, that makes yeah. cupboards yeah. and he makes yeah. he made right? Yes. Yeah. He made yeah. the bed, right. Yeah. And I did the bed. No, you also Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be more confusing. <laughs> I made the bed. This is a common thing, you know, because even natives they say I'll I'll do the bed. You know, I'll yeah. do the bed. Yeah. But it's it's make. You have to use make. I'll make my bed before. Yeah, yeah? yeah. you have to use make. It's uh, it's because, fun because you did the dishes and mm. you make the bed. Okay, now look, remember at the beginning when we said when when we talk about do, there is no physical object. Yeah. Right? But here you are making the bed. So physically you see that now it, it looks nice physically, right? Yeah. Before yeah. it wasn't uh -huh. nice. So there's a physical react that you can see it's been made nicely. Yeah. Before it was a big mess, you know, your pillow was on the ground, your the yeah. sheets, the sheets are you know everywhere. So when you yeah, make the bed, <laughs> the, rea the, rea the reaction there. So the reaction is nice. It and, looks and nice. You can okay. see it. And and the clothes, you you do the 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 clothes. You, you, when do you watch and you watch or or you make? Now, are you talking about ironing or are you talking about washing? Washing. Ah, washing. What do we say here? Because you're replacing, you're replacing now the the verb wash. Mm -hmm. So you can say just like with the dishes, yeah. 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 So here you can say. Mm -hmm. Do. Okay, you do. Do. Right. Because you're replacing the verb. Mm -hmm. This is the reason. So instead of saying I need to wash my clothes, you can say I need to do my clothes. Mm -hmm. But usually, I need to do the washing. That's what you would say. Because when you say, I need to do my clothes, what do you mean, do the clothes? Do you need to wash them, or do you need to iron them? So, mm -hmm. I need to do the washing, or I need to do the ironing. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is what we can say. Yeah. I know it gets a little bit complicated, but uh, hopefully you will... So, remember, when it comes to bed, bed mm -hmm. making, we say, make the bed. Okay. All right. Not do. Okay. Okay. I will never. I will never forget this. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. 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 You make the bed. Yeah. You have to make yeah. it look nice. Okay. But you see, because you're learners, especially if we start using Portuguese or Arabic, they say, "But it's, it sounds the same. I don't see the difference." Mm -hmm. You just have to practice it, and it will, it will become natural for you, inshallah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so these are some of the rules that we need to remember mm -hmm. when it comes to do's and, and makes. And uh, hopefully this, this helped you a little bit. So hopefully the next time when there's another a do versus make lesson, attend it again and then see if you have improved, if you can realize it easier or make it easier for yourself. Okay. Okay, guys? Any, any other questions okay. before I let you go? Thank you. Hello. Hello. All good? Thank you very much for the class. Lovely. You're welcome anytime, guys. Uh, have a Thank lovely you. evening, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.